This is the first time, to my knowledge, in Canadian history that the War Measures Act has been invoked in peacetime. Now, I want to say, as far as New Democratic Party is concerned, we have been prepared and we are prepared to support enlarging the police powers if the government thinks it necessary to give them greater authority in the matter of, of search for dynamite or offensive weapons. This is overkill on a gargantuan scale. Why is the government invoke the War Measures Act? Why is the government invoke the War Measures Act? May I point out that the FLQ have been around for some six or seven years. For several years now, they have, it is well known that they have committed and been found guilty of acts of sabotage, putting bombs in mailboxes, blowing up parts or all of public buildings. There is no, no constitution in this country, no bill of rights, no provincial constitution. This government now has the power by order in council to do anything it wants, to intern any citizen, to deport any citizen, to arrest any person, to declare any organization subversive and illegal. These are tremendous powers to put into the hands of the men who sit on the treasury bench. <laughs> person in Canada can be held for 90 days or more without any opportunity to prove their innocence, any opportunity to prove that they didn't belong to a subversive organization, or to prove that the organization to which they belonged was not subversive, in spite of what may be in the minds of uh, those who, who arrested them. This, uh, these regulations uh, give the power to seize property and hold it for 90 days. This is a, a resurrection of the, of the padlock law. These are, these are very serious powers. And if the government required those kinds of powers, surely in a democracy they should have asked the democratically elected representatives of the people to give them those powers that the government's action today is an action of panic. I think that in, in the hysteria which people feel that the government may, as the Prime Minister said, get many letters and calls approving what they're doing. I predict, Mr. Speaker, that within six months, when the Canadian people have had time to think of what has taken place today, the removal of all the protection and liberties they have on the statute books of Canada, a country put under the War Measures Act, regulations in introduced that allow a person to be detained for 90 days without a chance to prove their innocence. When that day comes, the Canadian people will look upon this as the Black Friday of civil liberties in Canada.